How's it going, folks? Let's read some of this. Get a little further along. I have not read ahead. I believe it's section 31. I'm Long ass masthead here. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet to Thomas B. Marsh, September 1830. Thomas B. Marsh had been baptized earlier in the month and had already been ordained an elder. Yeah, they really raced that. I noticed. I had several friends in high school that we had a wrestling coach that was uh, making Mormons. He did a good job for one season too bad. He was like he was a fucking excellent coach. But he anyway, he made he made a bunch of Mormons. He even made my sister a Mormon. And he almost made me a Mormon. I just couldn't. <laughs> I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed infiltrating the spectacle, but I was thinking the whole time, God, these people are wonderful. This is some silly ass shit. <laughs> but God, I love these people. Most of them. Just saying. Yeah. Already been ordained an elder. Yeah, one of the guys I was wrestling. I mean, on my wrestling team. Baptized. Next thing we know, he. Next thing I know, he's baptizing my sister. Him. Already. That means he's already ordained and shit. Right away. Pam. Fast food. Religion. <laughs> it's pretty. If you want to advance quick, I mean, my step granddad was a bishop. I liked him, by the way. I don't want to talk crap. He was, I liked him. He was all right. Yeah. Had already been ordained. And now, we're still in the masthead. I'm sorry. Major malfunction here. Ordained an elder in the church when this revelation was given. Commended for obedience and faithfulness. Assured, as to the welfare of his family, appointed, still in the masthead, <clears throat> to preach and administer, promised the guidance of the Comforter in his ministry. One, Thomas, my son. Blessed are you because of your faith in my work. Two, behold, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting the giggles here. <laughs> it's okay. You have had many afflictions because of your family. Nevertheless, I will bless you and your family. Yay. Stamp it. Done. <laughs> your little ones. Uh, yay, your little ones. What's that mean? <laughs> and the day cometh. Then they will believe and know the truth and be one with you in my church. Three, lift up your heart and riches. For your hour, for the hour of your mission is come, and your tongue shall be loosed. You're free to speak. And you shall declare glad tidings of great joy unto this generation. So they definitely will have like a hackamore on that tongue. Though. 
in case I need to pull back on the reins, you know. Make sure you say the right things. Get it right. All right. Totally lost my place. Uh, <laughs> Your tongue shall be loosed, and you shall declare glad tidings of great joy unto this generation. Read that already. Four. You shall declare the things which have been revealed to my servant, Joseph Smith, Jr. You shall begin to preach from this time forth, yea, to reap in the field which is white, all ready to be burned. Five, therefore, thrust in your sickle with all your soul. And your sins are forgiven you. And you shall be laden with sheaves upon your back. For the laborer is worthy of his... Uh, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Wherefore, your family shall live. That's about the way it is, isn't it? Never changes. I'm fine with it. I like what I do most of the time. Six. Behold, verily, I say unto you, go from them only for a little time and declare my word, and I will prepare a place for them. Yea, I will open the hearts of the people, and they will receive you. And I will establish a church by your hand. Eight. And you shall strengthen them and prepare them against the time when they shall be gathered. Nine. Be patient in afflictions. Revile not against those that revile. Govern your house in meekness. And be steadfast. Ten. Behold, I say unto you that you shall be a physician unto the church, but not unto the world. So they'll make you a doctor that quick? Bang. You're a Mormon? At, at, put doctor in front of your name. We'll print off a diploma right now. Physician under the church, like as a witch doctor, <laughs> and not under the world, for they will not receive you. Eleven, go your way whithersoever I will. Uh -uh. And it shall be given you by the Comforter. That's that feeling, that that burning in your bosom. That's the Comforter. Not to be confused with heartburn. That's not comforting at all. By the Comforter that you shall do and whither you shall go. Twelve. Pray always, lest you enter into temptation and lose your reward. Thirteen. Be faithful unto the end, and lo, I am with you. These words are not of man, nor of men, but of me. Even Jesus Christ, your Redeemer, by the will of the Father, Amen. And I sit for uh, 31. I think I'll do another, but let's break it up. So stay tuned if you can stomach another section. I haven't read in advance, but it's little.
the masthead is almost as long. If not, and I, if I'm cool with that, I'm totally cool. Up. Peace. Fuck out. Have a wonderful. Day. Whatever the fuck it is you're having, because that's what I want. Really. That's what I want. For anyone.